So to run your bot, make sure that you are in the client directory if you are running the Python file. But if you are running the executable file, you can just copy this Windows exe file to any folder that you want and then run it there. Take note, before you run the Windows executable file, you need to run the stream file. That's exactly what I'm going to explain on this video during the process of running this bot on the Python script. So to run your bot, make sure that you are in this client directory for those who are running the Python script. But if you are running the executable file, just copy this directory or this folder out or you can also run it here and then set it up. Click on the main to run it. Since we are on tutorial, I am going to run the Python files here. So to run your Python file, make sure that you are in this client directory. So I'm going to ls to view the directories and then copy the client directory and then cd to the client directory. Click on enter. Let's clear the terminal. And then if you type ls, you are going to see all the files. And this is the main.py file that we want to run. So I'm going to copy the file and then type python main.py and then click on enter. Now it is going to load in this way. So currently now it automatically finds out that triangular pairs is not available. So it's going to structure triangular pairs from Binance. And this might take a quite a lot of time because it's going to each of the pairs in Binance and check other pairs and see if the same cryptocurrency is in another pair. And it's going to find another pair up to three triangular pairs. That's three pairs. And then structure it. So I'm going to show you how it structure the pairs and save it into a JSON file after structuring. So pause this video here and allow your bot to structure the pairs. When you are come when you are done, come back and click play. Do not forget to put in the comment section how many pairs that you have successfully structured. Okay, so now structuring of triangular pairs is successful and you can see that we have 2225 triangular pairs successfully saved as a JSON. But I want to show you something here. You can see the last stream date time and the current date time currently now. We can see that it also alert us that streams, stream file is not streaming by Nantica's price. So we need to run stream file and then hit enter to continue. I'm going to show you how to run a stream file. If I hit enter now, it is also going to output that same error because I've not been running the stream file in which it's going to open a connection, web request connection with Binance Exchange to keep streaming the tickers and then save it to the tickers that was fetched from HTTP request. So before we go ahead and run the stream file, let us see the files that is being fetched and structured. So navigate to the directory of your trading bots. That's the client's directory. Once you get to that point, click on Utils and then click on Binance HTTP tickers. This is going to be the tickers that was fetched from HTTP request. So this is HTTP tickers. It is a whole lot of information. So I can format it now to be human readable because it has a lot of information here. If I'm to format it, my Visual Studio code is going to crash right now. So I'm going, I'm not going to format this one at the moment. So let me open the second one, which is Binance Triangular Pairs. So let me open this. And then, okay, I am going to format this so that we can see how it is structured, the pair, just like the way we buy apple or strawberries, swap it to uh, pineapple and so on and so forth. So let me format this and then we will see how it is. Okay, so this is how the triangular pairs are. So this is uh, pair number, triangular pair number one, two, up to 2,200 and something, you know, what was showing on the screen. So uh, this is the A base and uh, B base as well as C base. So we have here triangular pair A, triangular pair B, and triangular pair C. So this is the way your bot is going to execute arbitrage with this. Now your bot is going to start from this 
first pair, which is triangular pair A, and then swap forward swapping or forward execution. Forward, what I mean by forward execution is that it is going to execute from ETH to BTC and then from BTC to LTC. So now we are going forward because we are starting from the left and going to the right. So that's a forward execution. Then if we are going backward, which is reverse, we are going to start from BTC. Your bot is going to start from BTC to ETH, from ETH to LTC and from LTC back to BTC. But you don't really need to own or to have ETH in your wallet or BTC since the starting coin is not USDT. Your bot is smart enough to automatically convert your USDT to any of the starting coin. So that's exactly how your bot is going to swap or execute this arbitrage and find any profitable execution from all these pairs. Now that you have come to know how your bot fetch pairs and also structure pairs and all those things. Now let's run the stream file so that this so that we can get rid of this error that you are seeing on the screen or notification that you are seeing on the screen. So the way we are going to do this is that we are going to navigate to this stream directory on our terminal. If you are running the executable file, you just have to open this stream file and you are going to see stream and then click on it. Then it is going to run. But since we are running a Python script, we are going to navigate to this. So by copying this directory and go to our terminal, then click here to open a new terminal. If you don't see this button, you just have to type search for new terminal and then open a new terminal and then change directory to that directory that you copy by typing cd and then open and close quotes then paste that directory and click on enter now we are in that directory if i type clear and click on enter and then type ls you are going to see that we have this stream.js which is a javascript file so now you will need to install moments if you check out the stream file let me quickly open the stream file okay so this is the stream that stream directory and open the stream file you can see uh, there's an import of moments here so you have to npm install moments because the moment is installed globally not as a local dependency so on the local dependency, I have socket, which is already on the package.json in which you can do npm install and you are going to install the necessary dependencies that is in this package.json once you are in this directory. Go ahead and install moments, npm install moments globally and you will not have any error. So now let's then we get back to our terminal and then type python stream.j, oh not python type node stream dot js and then click on enter it is going to output the websocket clients connected so we have successfully connected to binance websocket client if you go back to this terminal that we were running our file and then click on enter you see it is going to find arbitrage currently now it finds a surface arbitrage but the profit threshold of the depth arbitrage was just low so it has to ignore the arbitrage without execution and if we go to our settings file you are going to see the max the minimum surface arbitrage that we use as the tolerance so if i open here and you can see arbitrage threshold which is the surface arbitrage is too low so i can put it to 0 0.5 and then uh, save it and once you make any change do not forget to start your bot again so i'm going to cancel this clear and then start it again always make sure that your stream file is running continuously if at any given point it disconnects it is going to automatically connect again but if it doesn't connect for a specific interval it is going to alert you on telegram so you can see this is exactly how your bot is going to be finding arbitrage and once it execute arbitrage it is going to send you a message on telegram so you can run your bot in a vps or any private server so that your bot will be running 24 7. if you are running it on ubuntu make sure you install pm2 to keep it running 24 7. 
if you don't know how to install pm2 there's going to be a link in the description pm2 is it's a node.js library that is used to run programs in daemon so that your program will not interrupt at any given point so uh, have fun with your trading bot and do not forget to put it in the comment section if you have successfully gotten to this point do not forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and then see you in the next video